Tactically reloading a combat shotgun. You know, there's a lot of different ideas, a lot of different thoughts, a lot of different opinions on it. A lot of which are brought to us by the sporting industry as well as the, uh, the competitive industry. There's nothing wrong with any of those techniques. Uh, they're safe, they're sane, they keep good control of the weapon, but they aren't really necessarily applicable to the dynamics of a combative environment. Now, the reason is, is because the shotgun is a slow loading device. It's got a tube magazine, it loads one round at a time. We've got to have that thought process in our head at all times of reloading what we've shot out of the gun in order to keep the weapon fed. Along with that, we've also got to have the ammunition that we're going to be reloading back into the shotgun staged in such a way that it's accessible at all times, rather than just rolling around loose in our pockets. Now, on this particular shotgun, I've got a Mesa side saddle carrier. So I've got a good sturdy, uh, hard aluminum side saddle carrier that holds my shell sturdily on the side of my weapon. Now, in a sporting environment, say we're out doing bird hunting, you know, the, the, the typical bird hunter or, or upland game hunter, you know, he'll roll his shotgun over and he'll load it casually like this. Muzzle's in a safe direction, hands are off the trigger, but the weapon is out of battery when it comes to having to deal with somebody from a combative standpoint. On a competitive note, we might be shooting in what is considered a combat course. We run out of ammo or it's time to reload. And what they'll do is they'll bring that buttstock up on their shoulder, they'll disengage the weapon with their shooting hand, and start loading rounds this way. There's nothing wrong with doing this under those conditions. The muzzle's in a safe direction, nobody's fiddling with the trigger, very minimal chance of an accidental discharge, everything's under control. But if we had to shoot at a person, we had to shoot at an actual aggressive target, we're totally unoriented away from our weapon. So what we want to do is we want to maintain operational control of the weapon at all times with the firing hand, which means we're up on our shoulder, it's time to reload the gun, I can either do it up here off my shoulder or possibly bring it back into a high tuck position where I might have better muscle control. Now again, this is something that's going to be purely up to you. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. There's just what's going to work best for you, your body type, size of your hands, where the ammo is stored, all kinds of different variables. So for here, I brought it back into a, into a high tuck position. My action is open, I've got no rounds inside the gun. The gun is essentially nothing more than a baseball bat at this stage in the game. So my first mission is to get that first round inside that chamber and get that chamber closed as quick as possible. Remember, it's a defunct weapon if there's no round inside that chamber. I've got control of it, I could fire it if I needed to, but I've got to get it loaded. So I'm going to access my ammunition out of my shell carrier. Now, here's the, the next debate. Do I want to carry my shells with the brass up, or do I want to carry my shells with the brass down? In all honesty, I could really care less how you carry your ammunition inside your side saddle carrier. It's going to be based on you. My suggestion is do it the same way all the time so that you know how your ammo is oriented, just like you have your magazines for your handgun oriented in your magazine carrier. So here, I've accessed my ammunition. I want to get that round inside the chamber as quick as possible. Whether I come over the top of my gun or I come over the bottom of my gun, it doesn't make any difference. Again, it's up to you. Hand size, physical capabilities, all types of different variables. So whatever works best for you under the conditions that you're utilizing the shotgun for. Get that first round in there get my action closed. Now, with my muzzle oriented towards my area of threat and my control of it with my shooting hand, I could engage a target if a target presented itself. Okay, So I've kept myself in the fight. Now that an action's closed, I can facilitate the rest of the reload of my weapon until I get the weapon completely topped off and then I'm good to go. And as always, train hard, train right, and train to win.